This is a nebulizer with a mask. There are different nebulizer cups. Your healthcare provider will tell you which cup to use for your child's medicine. Always use a snug-fitting mask that covers your child's nose and mouth. Different nebulizers can be used to deliver your medicines. In order to get the medicine into the lungs, children under the age of seven usually need to use a mask. Older children will learn to use a mouthpiece. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before use. Plug the compressor machine into an electrical outlet. Place one hand on the bottom of the nebulizer cup and the other hand on top. Twist the top of the cup counterclockwise to open it. If the medicine is in a multiple dose container, draw up the recommended amount of medicine with a dropper or syringe and place it into the nebulizer. Then add saline if recommended. If the medicine is in a pre-mixed single dose vial, open the vial. Pour the medication into the nebulizer cup. Replace the nebulizer top by twisting clockwise until secure. Attach the adapter to the mask. Attach the adapter to the nebulizer cup. Plug one side of the clear plastic tubing to the compressor machine. Attach the other side of the tubing to the nebulizer cup. Be careful not to tip over the nebulizer and spill the medicine. Place the mask on the child's face and secure with a strap. Check the seal of the mask so that it fits snugly over the nose and mouth. It is very important that the mask fit well. Attach the nebulizer to the mask. The child should sit upright and be awake during the nebulizer treatment. Turn on the compressor machine. The liquid medicine will start to bubble and a fine mist will come out. If the nebulizer is not creating mist, pour out the medicine, rinse with sterile water, and start over. If you still do not see a mist, replace the nebulizer cup. The child should breathe in and out normally until all medication is gone. A treatment should take about 10 minutes, depending on the nebulizer. If possible, take an extra deep breath every 10 breaths and hold for five to 10 seconds before breathing out slowly. Tap the cup so droplets of medicine on the sides can be nebulized. You may see and hear sputtering in the nebulizer cup at the end of the treatment. All medicine should be gone before turning the machine off. If the mask is not touching the child's face during the treatment, the medicine will be lost into the air and will not get into your child's lungs. Do not blow the medicine in or near your child's face. This will irritate his eyes and less medicine will get into the lungs. When the medicine treatment has finished, wipe your child's face. If the medicine is an inhaled steroid, have your child rinse his or her mouth and brush his or her teeth after each treatment. Make sure you rinse and spit and don't swallow. After each treatment, take the nebulizer apart and remove the mask. Remove any mucus from the mask and clean it with hot soapy water. Rinse. Allow it to air dry. Rinse the medicine out of the nebulizer with sterile water after each treatment. You can make sterile water by boiling tap water for five to 10 minutes. Then let it cool. Shake off any excess water and air dry by placing on a paper towel. Clean and disinfect the mask and nebulizer once a week. Clean the nebulizer by washing all its parts with soap and warm water. Rinse with clean water. To disinfect, soak the nebulizer parts in a solution of one part distilled white vinegar and three parts warm water. Rinse with sterile water. Patients with cystic fibrosis should clean and disinfect their perinebulizers after each treatment. Shake off any excess water